how's it going? I hope you enjoyed seeing this miniature garden come together. It's January. It's a weird time of year between Christmas and all the decorations and festivity and spring. So we've got these weird couple of months where I usually turn to projects like this where I can still work with plants and I can still get my hands dirty. I know you guys know what that feels like. Um, and I just really enjoyed myself up here in the plant room. It's nice and cozy up here and nice and warm. Um, the plants really enjoy it and it's just like a fun therapy for me. When I initially set out to create this garden, I told Erin, I wanna make a woodland miniature garden. And I did not attain that with this project. It kind of, and I don't know if your projects kind of do this, but they take on a life of their own and they kind of just go the direction they wanna go sometimes. And I did still use some of those earthy elements I was going to incorporate anyway, like the pine cone, there's some acorns and stones. And I went outside and gathered up some leaves from underneath our locust tree to use as kind of like a, a little mulch on the ground like you would see out in nature. And there is some moss as well, but I used all house plants. So I think we should probably call this like a miniature house plant garden. <laughs> I think is more what it is. Um, I used some plants that you might not think would be very compatible together, so I wanted to talk about that as well. I actually have enormously good luck with these mixed container gardens. And I think it's because um, I, well like with this one right here, this is like a, I have got the tag, hold on. It's called a monkey cup plant. I thought it was a pitcher plant. I don't know if that's the same thing or not. I don't know a whole lot about carnivorous type plants, but this is the only one that really wants to be a lot more moist than any of the other plants in this garden. So what I did was it was in a little plastic pot. So I cut the lip off the top of that pot because it's usually just kind of a little bit of extra plastic that is hard to hide, but I left the root ball in its own container so I could water that one extra on its own and it will drain out into the pot. It doesn't want to sit in water necessarily, but it'll want extra. So I can water that one individually more often and it'll stay more contained within that plastic pot. This is a gold nugget Sempervivum. Um, excellent house plant. You can see that it's got its winter color. I went and got that one out of the greenhouse. greenhouse. So it will probably lessen in color a little bit, which right now it's beautiful, beautiful color, but I think it'll probably go with the vibe of this whole container if it's a little bit more muted. That's just personal opinion. I've got a Kalancho or Kalanchoe right here in the center um, that's all butted up. And I kind of wanted to make this one where, you know, it's got a definite back here and the plants kind of graduate down, but then I used something a little higher here and something a little higher in the middle. So it was a little bit more, like it was a little bit more haphazard like you would find in nature. So back to the watering, I just use a watering can like this one right here that's got a really nice tip that directs water exactly where you want it to go. And if you need to water something a little bit extra, like if this fern needs a little bit of water in between times, I can just water right at its root ball and it might bleed over a little bit into the other plants, but not much. And I just find that if I have them in nice bright light um, and just water them consistently and maybe come in a little bit more often for the plants that need it a little bit more, I have pretty good luck. And I usually get at least a year out of a garden like this, at least, um, with just minor grooming. And usually I don't have to pop anything out, but at about a year's time, things are wanting to you know, spread their roots out a little bit more. They need more space, so I'll kind of deconstruct. Sometimes I will deconstruct before that because I just enjoyed putting these together so much that I could just take this all apart in a month and do something new with all the plants. So you just never know. Um, I did put a little fox in here, but I wanted to show you because this is what I thought for the woodland garden. I wanted to show you how cute, oops, this little fairy is in there. So you can really change up the flavor of your garden with just one little piece. Let me show you this one. I think she's really cute too in there. And each one of these just gives it a little bit of a different vibe. I actually think that she's my favorite in here. It is enormously hard to put these together from behind. I think I used to be better at it, I don't know. Now with the water feature right here, which turned out perfect, I think, um, it's in a little Tupperware container and I just use big stones to kind of wedge my little pump in there and then there's a little piece of tubing that comes up from the pump where I put a rock over the top of that tubing to hide it. And I used, I have it right here, this is a diamond tiled drill bit, half inch drill bit that cuts stone. So I use this with our battery operated drill and I take it out to the greenhouse and uh, use some clamps. Is that? Yeah. Clamps to clamp the rock down. And then I just drill my hole through the rock 
and that's what I would take this rock off and show you, but I'd have water spraying everywhere. I bought the smallest pump I could find and it's still really strong water flow. So I have this flat rock on top of it, deflecting the moisture, which actually there's no splatter whatsoever. So we're not losing any water out of the reservoir. And what that pump does is it just takes the water that's in the reservoir and just recycles it. So it pushes it up through the tube, it falls over the top of the rock and goes right back down into the reservoir. It's just a recycling process. That's pretty much it. Uh, I think I've talked about most all the things I see in the comment section as like posed as a question that I can think of anyway. So if you think of any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. We've been doing Monday recap videos where I answer questions from the previous week's videos and it's been really, really fun for me and a way just to, uh, answer questions like for everyone because I think if you ask the question there are more people who wonder the same thing and maybe they didn't write it so it's really I think helpful I'm hoping for you guys uh, and make sure you're subscribed and that you have hit the bell for notifications so that you get a notification when we put those Monday videos up that way if you've asked a question you can come back watch the video and see if we have answered yours so anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you tackle something like this if you run down and grab some house plants and and um, try to put something together I would love to see what you come up with uh, because right now like I just want I want to see it all and I want to plant it all so I would love to live vicariously through your creations as well so tag me on social media if you do that thank you guys again for watching and we will see you in the next video bye